What's up? It's Skidoo here. Welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we tied up a few loose ends at the Shadow Pokemon Lab. And in this episode, we are going to head off towards the Snagup Hideout once again because we just got an email about a supposed Snag Machine being built there. And we don't want that, especially in the hands of former bad guys. So, let's go. But when we get here, we get an email. So, let's check this thing out. To see Derek's email and another one from Bit. Hi, this is Bit in the under. Got some more news about those Snagum holdouts. There's a rumors now about a creepy Smeargle and Ursaring. I think it's worth checking out. Hmm, weird because if you remember, we got emails about a Shadow Smeargle and a Shadow Ursaring being on the loose. So we may want to check this place out a little bit more once we uh, find that Snag Machine that's supposedly being built and. HOLY CRAP IT'S SCRUBS! Yeah, like I said, this hall right right here, Cypher Agents will drop down. But not just any Cypher Agents, Cypher Agents with Shadow Pokemon. For example, if you remember, Scrubs right here had a Shadow Hitmontop. So, this is another chance for you to catch that thing. And since I already caught it, I'm just going to battle right here. And I'm oh, wait, I meant to switch up my Pokemon. <laughs> oh, whoops. Whatever, we're just gonna go in with uh, Blackout and uh, Koshi. Oh, let's see. I'm just gonna use Solar Beam on Huntail and just bite Wobbuffet for right here. Um, strange thing about Wobbuffet for right here, its ability Shadow Tag it prevents um, your enemy from escaping. Now, here's the weird thing about it: this Pokemon was actually banned from uh, tournaments in third generation because if two Pokemon had Shadow Tag or Area Trap. They could not escape, which would lead to an all-out... Well, since Wobbuffet doesn't have any physically damaging moves other than Counter and Miracle, which you can only use those moves if the other Pokemon attacks you, if two Wobbuffets met on the field, you would have no... It would be a stalemate. N neither of them could do anything. And wow, level 57. Very nice. Especially for you, Koshi. Alright, give me that experience. Anyway, this was changed in 4th gen when uh, the ability Shadow Tag allowed you to switch if another Pokemon had Shadow Tag and was on the field. Anyway, there goes a uh, Wobbuffet right there. Oh my god, Wobbuffet! Uh, Wobbuffet's a weird Pokemon. I kind of like it. Anyway, Golem right here. As you can see, he evolved his Graveler into Golem. So that's really the only thing that's different about this fight. That and, um... He evolved his Clamporal and Huntail, I think, or, wait, was that thing evolved in our last fight with him? Whatever, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that we're going to beat him right here, right now. He's really not that hard, especially since all his Pokemon are, like, low 50s and mine are, like, late 50s. And Brick Break, that ain't good, especially for Black yeah, Blackout right here. Not good. Uh, let's see, let's use a bite on Medicham. I don't know how much it's gonna do since uh, it's part fighting type. And as we all know, fighting type moves are strong. Well, fighting types are get. Yeah! Fighting types are strong against dark types for some odd reason. There, that is what I was going to say. Anyway, just gain all that experience, Blackout, because you're gonna need it. Because you're going to be a lot of help in a future fight. So, yeah. Oh, how confusion again! Wow! Bad news bears for him. Anyway, let's just finish this up with one more attack, and this should be it! The finishing blow! Out of there! I know I usually just save that for our boss fights, but, you know, it's still fun to say. Anyway, just give me all that experience, like I've been saying throughout this whole battle. And, wow, level 58! That is awesome! And we have successfully defeated Scrubs for the third time! Like I said, this, uh doorway right here or crack in the wall or it's not it's not really a door but this crack in the wall where we fought scrubs right here cypher agents with shadow pokemon fall from this all the time so if you need a shadow pokemon you missed on your journey just come through here and odds are there will be a person with a shadow pokemon with in here anyway i'm just going to use this pc to heal up my pokemon with the pc trick so i will be right back Okay, I'm back, and I also want to show that in my item stores, I took out a few Max Revives, all the Max Revives I have, because we're going to be going into a very, very tough fight in a minute here. Now, on your second visit here, there's two places you need to go. 
You need to go to uh, the old office, and you also need to go where you fought Verde. Well, where I fought Verde, or where you fought your Cypher Peon. Anyway, we're going to be going to the old office first, a.k.a. Gonzap's old office. Anyway, now, before we go there, and like I said before, you don't need to battle these guys, only if you talk to them. Anyway, like I was saying, before you go up there and meet whoever's up there, heal up and save, especially if you're under level, because this is going to be a very tough fight. Also, I would like to show off that off camera, I taught Zip Zap right here Protect, which is what I've been meaning to do for quite a while now. I gave up uh, Cotton Spore for that, because Protect is a really good move, especially for Zip Zap, because now I can use Earthquake with uh, Expo and not get hurt if I use uh, Zip Zap's Protect beforehand. Anyway, let's go upstairs, and... Guess who it is? Gwahahaha! <laughs> Pretty brazen for a traitor to come stumbling back, eh, hey, Derek? I got careless back at Realgam Tower, but this is the snag of hideout. We might be shadowed, but this is my home turf. This is where I make my stand. I can't lose. Okay, thus begins the second fight with Snag'em Head, Gonzap. And he is no pushover by any means in this fight. He is significantly tough. Anyway, he's going to start off with Armaldo, level 64 with the ability Battle Armor, with the moves Hyper Beam, Swords Dance, Ancient Power, and Brick Break. And he also, he's also going to start off with Breloom, level 64 with the ability Effect Spore. With the moves Hyper Beam, Iron Tail, Sky Uppercut, and Bulk Up. Now, his main strategy right here. He's going to bulk up his Pokemon stats with moves like Bulk Up and Sword Zant. And then he's going to unleash Hyper Beam on you. Because Hyper Beam, being a normal type move, is physical in this game. And it can really hurt because all of his Pokemon are good with physical attacks. So what I'm going to do first is actually going to use protect right here just to make sure I am protected by anything. Actually, no way. Uh, what I meant to do was uh, not use protect because he's probably going to bulk up his Pokemon during this turn. He's probably going to attack uh, Blackout right here with uh, Breloom because, yeah, like, like I said, fighting types are strong against dark types. And there he goes buffing his Pokemon first. I really should have saved that protect for later, but whatever. Anyway, I'm actually quite nervous during this fight because, honestly, this is, like I said, this is a very tough fight. And you're going to want your Pokemon to uh, be A-OK -okay before this fight because, as you can see, his Pokemon are mid-60s, whereas mine are late 50s. I know, I'm under-leveled during this fight. And Wow, Sky Uppercut! Oh, crap! Crap, crap, crap. Ah, uh, crap, there goes Blackout. <laughs> Oh, crap my life. Crap my life. He was going to be my main uh, strategy for this because my strategy was to trick the enemy's AI into attacking Blackout because he's a tank. And, oh man. This is going to be hard. Anyway, I do have Pokemon right now that are uh, good against his Pokemon. Oh yeah, keep in mind that he also has X Attack and Full Restore. So, be wary of that. Anyway, I'm going to attack his Pokemon right now. Oh wow, he did use a full restore. I was, I was almost certain he was gonna use a full restore, but whatever. Anyway, there goes Breloom right there. I really like Breloom. I use him in all my uh, third gen runs, well, at least in Ruby. Anyway, his next Pokemon is Gramble, level 64 with the ability Intimidate, as you can see right there. With the moves Hyper Beam, Bulk Up, Shadow Ball, and Brick Break. This thing can be pretty threatening if it lays down a Bulk Up. I must say, and there goes Omaldo, one of his more threatening Pokemon, because honestly, he has very few weaknesses, making him pretty tough, and wow, level 58, very good, Mind Freak. Anyway, what next? Machamp is up next, level 64 with the ability Guts, with the moves Hyper Beam, Submission, Foresight, and Bulk Up. Usually, all of his Pokemon have the pretty much the same moveset, just, you know, just, unless for a few differences. <laughs> wow. And there's uh, his X attacks right there. Wow, you did it on both of his Pokemon. Okay. Anyway, just use a Psychic right here on Machamp. I watched it survive with just one HP. Or not. Okay, cool. It did last time when I fought him. 
And yes, I did fight him before this video. And honestly, all but one run was successful. Anyway, Cronon right here, level 64, with the ability Hyper Cutter, with the moves Hyper Beam, Sword Dance, Aerial Ace, and Brick Break. Basically, just a carbon copy of Armaldo, move-wise, except for he has Aerial Ace instead of Angel Power. Uh, let's see. Let's hope for another... Oh, well, there's his full restore. Let's hope Thunder hits again. Okay, let's see. Mind Freak, you use uh, Psychic on Ground Ball right here. Doesn't defeat it, but I can always defeat it next turn if I survive. Honestly, I don't want to jinx this, especially with that hitting again. I don't want to jinx this, but I am doing pretty good considering what has happened. Anyway, last Pokemon is Gyarados, level 64 with the ability Intimidate, with the moves Hyper Beam, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, and Roar. And this is where I'm probably going to regret saying this is not that hard. Anyway, Gyarados right here is no pushover. This is the Pokemon he replaces his Shadow Skarmory with, because, I mean, <laughs> what I was going to say is, if you didn't catch Skarmory in the last fight, this would be Skarmory, and here's your second shot of catching said Skarmory. Anyway, there goes Gramble right there. There's one threat averted. And watch this. He's probably going to use Earthquake. Oh, wow, Dragon Dance. Oh, okay, that's even worse, because if he lays down a Dragon Dance, you could probably kiss your chances of winning goodbye, because it raises both uh, attack and speed. And with Gyarados being good with both of those, holy crap, did I just beat him? Holy crap, I just beat him. Oh, my God, with only losing one Pokemon, too. Oh, my God. Well, there's Snag of Head Gontap. Gah! You've grown more powerful. Actually, not really. Compared to you, not really. Holy crap. The way things are, I won't give you the satisfaction of asking you why you blew up the hideout and abandoned Team Snagum. But you remember this. So long as I breathe, Team Snagum will rise from the shadows again. And with it will come your downfall. Live in fear! <laughs> Gee, if Giovanni had this much ambition, Team Rocket may have not gone through two uh, breakups. Anyway, after beating him, he leaves this right here, the D disc, which can be used in the under. Now, you know how I said he was hard? Guess how hard he is? Even if you win or lose, he still drops that item right here and he disappears. Meaning that you cannot catch uh, Shadow Skarmory anymore, which is why I recommend people who haven't caught Shadow Skarmory yet to heal up and save before the fight. Anyway, now that that's all over, I'm going to switch up here because look at this! All of our Pokemon have magically been healed. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, let's see, I'm going to switch up to uh, Expo in the front right here. Uh, let's see, and we're actually going to go back to the uh, PC because I'm going to save. But before that, guess what? We run into yet another Cypher Agent. This Cypher Agent, like I said, had the Shadow let in, so I'm actually going to cut out this fight. Zip Zap grew to level 58 in that fight. Anyway, now that we defeated Gonzap, we're going to end things off here. Yes, it's going to be a shorter episode today, so I just want to give you all a break from watching all those long videos. Anyway, next time on Pokemon Coliseum... We are going to be exploring more of the Snack Up Hideout and seeing if we can find the Shadow Earth Ring or Shadow Smeargle, alright? See you guys then!